Hello students, today we will discuss about isometric projection of the following figure. So in this we have a pentagonal pyramid of base side 30 mm and axis length 60 mm is resting on HP on its base with a side of the base perpendicular to VP. It is the very simplest problem and uh, whenever we have a pentagon and hexagon we are supposed to draw orthographic drawing of the pentagon and hexagon then we have to convert that into isometric scale let us start with the problem so here we have a pentagon whose side length is 30 mm so there are multiple ways to con uh, draw a pentagon in an orthographic way one of them is inside polygon which is an micro so here i'm going to select that so flat length make sure that you select flat length side length is given which is 30 mm and pentagon has five sides apply relationships just click on the screen easily you will get a pentagon so then we have to convert that into a box so from each corner from this corner i am going to draw a vertical line from this corner i am going to draw a horizontal line likewise from here i will draw horizontal line from this end point i will draw vertical line from this end point i will draw vertical line from this i will draw horizontal line as you can see, I am converting this into an vertical uh, into a box by drawing vertical and horizontal lines. I am going to use trim to trim off the unnecessary lines. As you can see, all at once I am going to trim it. Once I trimmed it, go to smart dimension. You can select this is 30. You can also select this, which is 9.27, which is 28.53, 17.63 and 24.27 here also 24.27 so remaining will remain same so now i'm going to uh, start with this since it is a pentagon you have to find the center also so center can be found out by drawing corner to the opposite end midpoint corner to the opposite end midpoint corner to the opposite edge midpoint so as you can see with this easily you will get a center you can draw this from here you can draw it to this and unnecessary lines you can just trim off like these lines are no longer required since it is a pyramid these lines will be visible so i'll just draw it with an visible line right so this is the pentagon so let us draw the front view as well so i'll project it till here i'll project it till here and here also i'll project it as well is this necessary or not not much actually but anyways it is better since it is a simple problem it is better to draw orthographic as well so from here i am going to take a thick line so from here to here from here to here from here to here then i will join it till here then i'll pick it from here i'll join it from here sorry from here select till end from this end select it till end from this select till this side so here you just have to show the height of this and convert this into an axis it is already a thin line third in a row and you can show the axis height here which is 60 so this completes the orthographic drawing now we'll go with the isometric drawing pick a thin line continuous line i'll start with an horizontal line now select this this is very very important so now 28.53 enter at an angle of 30 degree again 17.63 at an angle of 30 degree okay next 24.27 at an angle of 150 degree again 24.27 at an angle of 150 degree next it is 17.63 at an angle of minus 150 degree then again 28.53 at an angle of minus 150 degree now it is 9.27 at an angle of minus 30 then 30 at an angle of minus 30 remaining would be 9.27 at an angle of minus 30 as you can see it is correct now i'm going to pick a thick line so here i'll not pick this i'll select this end point i'll select this end point 
at the same time i'll also select this end point then here i'll select this i'll select this then again i'll join to this again here also i have to find the center i'll pick this thin line i'll draw the corner to the opposite edge midpoint again from this corner to the opposite edge midpoint any two if you could do if you draw easily you will get this end point you can trim this once you get this end center point you take the axis axis supposed to be 60 okay then convert that into an axis line third in a row then i am going to delete, delete this unnecessary lines okay select line pick a thick line from this end till here from this end point till here from this end point till here from this end point till here then again from this end point till here okay now pick carefully what are the things which are not visible like these lines this is visible okay what are the things which are not visible you have to pick those these are all construction lines so i'm going to select the, those as well and uh, i'm going to convert those things into an invisible thin line as you can see so this is our final pentagon now it has to be converted into iso select this entirely go to scale turn off copy command in scale factor 0 0.816 press enter place it exactly where it was okay you can also use leader and you can select this and you can just extend this and you can type here select text this is a pentagonal pyramid right so what are the dimensions we have supposed to show you can show this is at an angle of 30 degree take angle between you can show this is at an angle of 30 degree on either side and you can also show the axis of this which was supposed to be 60 and then we converted that into uh, a reduced value you can also show that select this now it is reduced to 78.96 select this make it into a blank then you can go with the prefix type iso 60 press ok so we'll get that value so it's a very simple problem thank you so much share and subscribe